Hello and welcome to another video of Matuklasan. And in this video, we'll talk about the factorial notation. So if you happen to see a number like this one, this is actually an example of what we call factorial notation, wherein we use the exclamation point for us to represent the expression. So when we say 5 factorial, it means that you need to multiply 5, then subtract 1 from 5 for you to have 4, subtract 1 from 4 for you to get 3, and so on, until you reach uh, the last number, which is 1. Okay? So getting this, um, um, it's like mul multiplication in a sense, but it's a multiplication with a certain type of pattern. So 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 is equal to 120. So therefore, uh, 5 factorial is equal to 120. Okay, now for this next, next example, if it's 7, then it's 7 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. So the technique is just to uh, give all the possible numbers after 7 in descending order. Okay, and uh, use multiplication to identify the uh, value for it. Okay, now for uh, the answer, you have 5,040 because five, 7 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 is equal to 5,000. 40. But we have a special number here, which is 0 factorial, uh, which is equal to 1. So just remember that uh, you have the same pattern except for 0. So if it's 0 factorial, that is equal to 1. And it was made this way for us to use this in a different kinds, kinds of uh, counting techniques like permutations and combinations. So with that, in general, for any counting number n, n factorial means n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 until you reach 1. So for example, if it's uh, 3 factorial, it means 3 times 3 minus 1 times 3 minus 2. And as we all know, that's already 1 because 3 minus 1 is 2, 3 minus 2 is 1. So 3 factorial now, it's just 3 times 2 times 1. So in the end, will have 6 okay and of course the example that I just uh, showed you is uh, 0 factorial which is equal to 1 now what if we need to evaluate uh, certain expressions like say a combination of division wherein 12 factorial it will be divided to 10 factorial so 12 fa if 12 factorial will be divided to 10 factorial okay it means that it's 12 times 11 times 10 uh, times 9, times 8, times 7, times 6. It, this one is too tedious, as you can see. But I'll show you a shortcut later. Okay? So it just means I need to divide it by 10 times, uh, what's this? 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. But have you noticed the same values here? Uh, from 10 to 1, from 10 to 1 here, we can just cancel this out because it's uh, 10 factorial divided by 10 factorial and 10 factorial divided by 10 factorial is just equal to 1 because as you can see by dividing each of these factor will just give us 1 so 1 here and then 1 here so the remaining numbers are 12 times 11 okay so the dot that you see here means multiplication so uh, 12 times 11 now is equal to 132 so from the shortcut we just uh, made we can say we can have an alternative solution like this one. Like for this case, if you have 12 factorial, you just separate 12, 11, and 10 factorial here. Okay? Divide it by 10 factorial. Then divide for you to get 12 times 11, which is 132. Same as with if you have, say, 6 factorial divided by 3 factorial. This just means that you have 6 times 5 times 4. And then if um, you stop with... Uh, 3 factorial because the denominator is 3 factorial just divide this by 1 and then you'll just get uh, 6 um, times 5 times 4 which is equal to 120 now how about this time I'm gonna show it to you using a calculator so as you can see I have a calculator here and all you have to do is to look for the x factorial symbol on your calculator in this calculator that I'm using the x factorial is here on the upper part of x raised to negative 1. So some calculators may um, place it in a different key 
but it's mostly on the second floor okay or the second part of the key so you just have to look for it now if you're looking for five factorial so all you have to do is to select five here okay oh let's turn it on first of course so we have five here and then since it's located in the second floor of this key i'll sh um, choose shift here key and then choose this one for the factorial notation to come out now 5 factorial just select equal then you have 120 and of course you can also divide the uh, factorials here like 12 factorial divided by 10 factorial so let's confirm our answer um ac so 12 factorial divided by just the division notation okay is it showing yeah it is so 12 factorial divided by 10 factorial if and then this one again will give us 132 so can we confirm that yes a while ago we had 132 now let's check another example now how about we have 6 factorial divided by 3 factorial so 3 factorial here okay so we have the correct answer a while ago which is also equal to 120 it's not only division you can actually use multiplication here like say 4 factorial times uh, say 3 factorial okay that's it so we have 144 so you can use your calculator for any kinds of examples that involve um, factorials. Factorial notations are often used in uh, counting techniques like permutations, combinations, and uh, counting techniques in general. So like for this example, if we need to uh, determine a five letter ID card, which these five letters are the only options that we have so here in this example the letters a b c d and e are to be used in a five letter id card so how many cards are possible if each letter can only be used once all right so it could be a b c d so this is the first uh, possible id card uh, that we could identify or by rearranging this a and b we'll have b a c d e for our another ID card list. So uh, what we have to do now is to determine the number of ways that we could arrange this one, right? So by using the counting technique uh, or the multiplication principle, okay, we can have uh, the first ID card letter, say L sub 1 and L sub 2, L sub 3, and L sub 4 or L sub 5. By the way, there is a separate video about uh, the counting technique. So if you want to learn more about how I answer these kinds of things. Um, you can always check the learning video about counting principle or the multiplication rule. You can also check the description down below for the um, link of the video. So we have A, B, C, D, and E here. Okay? So for the first letter, we have um, five choices. We have five options, A, B, C, D, and E, right? So for the second, since um, letters can only be used once, I cannot use the combination A, A, C, D, E because I used uh, A twice here. So in this case, it's not allowed. So after choosing, say, A here, it's no longer the choice for the second letter. So minus 1, that's 4. And then since 2 were already used here, here it's just 3, and then 2, and then 1, following the same pattern. Multiplying this, probably is now familiar to you because this is like five factorial right it's five times four times three times two times one and we all know that five factorial is 120 so we have 120 ways to arrange the five letter id card and that's all for this video if you want to learn more about counting techniques and how to use the factorial notation on those kinds of examples you can always check the video link about counting principle or multiplication rule. See you in the next video.